Hey guys, what's going on? I'm the Hawk HDVG, and today I'm bringing you guys some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay on the map Village using the Silence PP90 M1. This is actually going to be a Moab by Two Hands Will Controller, and I'm very sorry about that because I know you guys don't like watching gameplay on my channel that is not my gameplay, but I had to put out a gameplay that wasn't mine because I was not on Xbox at all yesterday. Uh, some of you already know, but. I had a lot going on yesterday, and that's also why I couldn't upload a video yesterday, so I'm also sorry about that. But in this video, I'm going to be talking about some of Two Hands Mo Controller's tactics as he gets his Moab. And you really just got to look at some of his gameplays, and you can really learn a lot from them by looking and seeing what type of tactics he does. Uh, I said that really weird, but just looking at all the stuff that he does and uh, how he plays and you don't have to do everything he does just use a gun that you feel comfortable with um obviously he's very comfortable with the pp90 m1 he has lots of his uh moabs using the pp90 m1 and uh, he also uses this fad he picked up off the ground and it's very useful for when um long range uh situations come about and then pp90 m1 for uh, when he's at close range because Close range, the PP90M1 is an absolute beast, as we all should already know by now. But, you know, like I said, it's really good at close range. And FAD is not so good at close range, but very good at, um, you know, range, I guess I should say. But uh, this guy, he starts shooting two hands, and he turns around automatically and goes to cover. And uh, that was a very good move by him. And then here he switches to his um, silenced weapon. Almost gets killed there, but... If he hadn't switched to that silenced PP90, then uh, those guys behind him that were not on his team, on the enemy team, they would have seen him as a big red dot, so then they would have known he was right there. So that was a very good move by him, and now that he has on the all specialist bonus, he has on marksman so he can see throughout this dark cave, and uh, that is very good for when you're getting in Moab, because especially on this map, because there's lots of dark places in this map in the back where he's been, uh, you know, controlling this area back here where A is, uh, there's lots of dark places, so having a marksman is always a good thing to have and this is early when the game comes out because I think this is his first ever Moab and so you know it's lots of these guys don't have on assassin because it's when the game first comes out obviously and so this is why pretty much no one is a prestige right now everyone's just a regular rank <clears throat> so this is from a while back but uh, I had to grab this game because you know, I didn't have the gameplay already. So, also, there's this guy that I met on, on YouTube. It's uh, his, YouTube, his YouTube name. Uh, I forgot. It's like TFX Nation or something like that. Um, I honestly forgot what it was. But he's in some type of XIT clan. And so... He has all these gameplays on Black Ops that are like 144 and 2s. And uh, like 180 and 4 and 217. And like, I don't know... 10 or something like that. He has like all these gameplays that are like, fantastic on um, Black Ops. And so I'm thinking about maybe using some of them and showcasing them and uh, trying to help them grow their channel a little bit. I know my 275 subs isn't going to help a whole lot, but it will help a little bit. Um, and so, you know, I'm glad that I have 275 active subs. Um, I, I feel like that you guys are some pretty active subs. I don't know um, compared to other commentators because I really just try to um, deal with my own business and my own stuff. And not try to worry about um, everyone else's active subs and inactive subs. But, in fact, I noticed uh, quite a few drops in um, subscribers. And on Chris Mew's page and White Boy Southern Sheets page around May 31st to um, somewhere in middle June. Um, or early June, I should say. And so... It turns out like a lot of old accounts or inactive accounts that have not been logged into for like half a year or a year or so, uh, those um, accounts were closed by YouTube. So that's why lots of these guys that have been around YouTube for a long time have uh, have lost some subscribers. If you guys are still wondering about that, and uh, I don't know if that's something that you know every YouTuber knows about. Or I'm just really late on catching on to this stuff. But anyway, so. Another thing I wanted to briefly go over today was the fact that I'm probably not going to be asking for likes anymore. I'm like begging you, like, please, let's get 15 likes. Because obviously, if you like the video, you're going you're gonna to press the like button. I mean, I don't know why they have that. I don't know why they would have that like tab button there just so you can stare at it and not press it if you like the video. You know, if you if you dislike the video, if you do not like the video, then dislike the video. That's kind of obvious looking at what the thing says on the tab. And then if you like the video, then you obviously are going to press the like button, hopefully. Um, you know, if you really like the video. Um, but I noticed that in, to get on a community channels and stuff like that, likes doesn't matter as much as views. But uh, looking at how many views I get, you guys are really active and I really appreciate that. And uh, I don't know, just to me... Uh, um, getting likes on my videos 
encourages me to make more videos but you know I, I just want to see how much you guys actually like my videos and not just because I ask you to like the video and so you know, if you're a subscriber and uh, you don't like one of my videos for a certain reason maybe I was talking too fast or I had some type of uh, some type of sound effect thing going on that you didn't like or something like that then please tell me and so I would definitely try to fix that. Uh, and then, you know, if you want to dislike the video, go ahead uh, if you want to. I honestly don't care about dislikes. It just depends on how many likes I get. But, uh, you know, if I get a whole bunch of dislikes, then that's not good. But, you know, it, it just depends. If I get one dislike or two dislikes, I'm not going to be completely bummed out about it. But anyway, so, sadly, his Moab does not drop before the countdown. So, um... Uh, it's too bad for him about that, but at least he got the Moab. So that's about it for today, guys, and I will talk to you guys later.